Hello, I'm going to be reading from the private oral exam guide. I'm going to be in Chapter 5, Cross-Country Flight Planning, Section G, National Transportation Safety Board, 5-56, page 5-56, uh, number 1, Section G. When is immediate notification to the NTSB required? The operator of an aircraft shall immediately and by the most expeditious means available notify the nearest NTSB office when an aircraft accident or any of the following listed serious incidents occur. Flight control system malfunction, crew member unable to perform normal duties, in-flight fire, aircraft collision in flight, property damage other than aircraft estimated to exceed 25,000, overdue aircraft believed to be an accident, release of all or a portion of a propeller blade from an aircraft, complete loss of information including flickering from more than 50% of an aircraft's EFIS cockpit display, EFIS. Define aircraft incident. An aircraft incident means an occurrence other than an accident associated with the operation of an aircraft, which affects or could affect the safety of operations. Define aircraft accident. An aircraft accident means an occurrence associated with the operation of an aircraft, which takes place between the time any person boards the aircraft with the tension of flight and all persons have disembarked and in which any person suffers death or serious injury or in which the aircraft receives substantial damage. So incident one more time. Incident. An aircraft incident means an occurrence other than an accident associated with the operation of an aircraft which affects or could affect the safety of operations. Alright, number four. Define the term serious injury. Serious injury means any injury that requires hospitalization for more than 48 hours commencing within seven days from the date the injury was received. Revolts in a fracture of any bone except simple fractures of fingers, toes, or nose. Cause severe hemorrhages, nerve, muscle, or tendon damage. Involves any internal organ or involves second or third degree burns affecting more than 5% of the body's surface. Number five, define the term substantial damage. Substantial damage means damage or failure which adversely affects the structural strength, performance, or flight characteristics of the aircraft and which would normally require major repair or replacement of the effective component. Engine failure or damage limited to an engine if only one engine fails or is damaged. Bent fairings or cowlings, dented skin, small punctured holes in the skin of fabric, ground damage to rotor or propeller blades, and damage to landing gear, wheels, tires, flaps, engine accessories, brakes, or wingtips are not considered substantial damage for the purpose of this part. Number six. Will notification to the NSB always be necessary in any aircraft accident, even if there were no injuries? Refer to the definition of accident. An aircraft accident can involve substantial damage and or injuries, and the NTSB, C NTSB always requires a report if this is the case. Where an accident or incident, where are accident or incident reports filed? The operator of an aircraft shall file any report with the in-field office of the board nearest to the accident or incident. The National Transportation Safety Board field offices are listed in the U.S. government pages of telephone directories in major cities. After an accident or incident has occurred, how soon must a report be filed with NTSB? The operator shall file a report on NTSB form 6120.1 slash 2 or 1 half available from NTSB field offices, the NTSB in Washington, D.C., or the FAA Flight Center's district office within 10 days after an accident, within when after seven days an overdue aircraft is still missing. Note, a report on an incident for which notification is required as described shall be filed only as required by an authorized representative of the NTSB. Number nine, can the FAA use reports submitted to NASA for enforcement purposes? The FAA will not use reports submitted to NASA under the Aviation Safety Reporting Program or information derived therefrom. In any enforcement action except information concerning accidents or criminal offenses which are wholly excluded from the programs. By submitting a report within 10 days following an incident, the pilot is not protected from the FAA finding a violation of regulation but may be providing himself some immunity from a civil penalty or a possible suspension of certificate. Hmm. Oh wow, cool, we'll hang out there, we'll stop there. That was uh, who comes before H, G comes before H. So that was section G, uh, ending here on 5-58 on cross-country flight planning. That's the NTSB, see ya.